All right, guys, we are here with Far East Movement over at ACNOW. So what brings you guys down here? Is it because of Verman or is it just you guys? Verman, tell them, tell them the story. Verman, about Facebook. Ver, Verman's our representative, but, you know, a lot of this, this is put together not only by some great people, but it's for a great cause. Um, it's crazy. We got a... We were started promoting the show, uh, you know, on our Facebook. You know, it was put together fairly fast, and all of a sudden, I got a message from uh, Facebook. We were all attached, and it was from a girl out there that says, "Wow, you know, I, I can't believe you guys are doing this. This means so much. I'm typing you from the Philippines right now, and." My whole bottom of the house got flooded. Everything's flooded. I know people and family members that lost everything. So, you know, for, for an event like this to be heard all the way across the world means a whole lot. And the fact that you actually get to talk to someone that's going through what you're trying to help out means even more. So we're, we're blessed to be here. Big shout out to E-Man, IC, everyone that put this together and thought that it would be cool for us to be here. So. Oh, absolutely. And, um I mean, we, we're trying to do as many of these as possible. I mean, from the from the moment that it happened, you know, Verman had a had had pet people that we could send our clothes to. So we went out and everything that we're not wearing, we dumped all that and st sent it all over because um, we know it, it, it's crazy over there right now. So we try and do that as many shows as long as they fit into our schedule. Do as much as we can to possibly support because that's. I mean, they say it's crazier than Katrina. I mean, and and that was in the U.S. and you felt like the reverberations of that. But if it's even worse than that, I mean, you can only imagine. Just imagine two Katrinas. Unbelievable. So for you guys, it's is it more about just? Oh, okay. well, I'm gonna you There you go. For you guys, is it? Does it surpass race? It's more just now about humanity and and and, and just uh, making sure you can take care of your brothers and sisters. I mean, of course. I mean, we're all human. We all go through the same thing. It doesn't matter where it's at or you know when it's happening. It's just. You know, seeing these people go through it, it's hard to imagine, you know, especially having family that's going through it, it's, it's really rough. And, and from the bottom of my heart, you know, doing these things is like the best we can do to help out everyone else, regardless who it is or, or what's it for. Now, we've heard some people saying there's going to be too many of these events. Do you think there's, there's always not enough? Or do yeah, you think it doesn't matter? It, it doesn't matter. I mean, they need all the help they can get, you know, help. Help is what they need, you know. I mean, they we they need as much help. So all the help they can get, it's amazing that everyone's doing this. You also feel like, um, you know, like even when we do shows, you always you always think and you you have in, in your mind like if you get one extra fan, then that you know helps towards the overall movement. And it's the same kind of thing that applies to things like this, where you know if you have one extra person who wasn't able to make one event but can make this event, you know, it's about it's about getting the, the and and it's also about making sure that everyone stays aware about it because people you know went crazy when when that thing happened in in, in Thailand, you know, or. You know, and, and but then it was all in like two weeks. Everyone forgot about it. So to keep these 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 kinds of events going and to make sure that it stays inside people's minds, you know, is definitely something. Because just because you get you do one or two benefit concerts in the first two weeks doesn't mean you're covering people for the rest of the of the year. You know what I'm saying? And these things, it's going to take a while for them to build everything back up to where it needs to be. Now you're you're talking about seeing it on the news for two weeks or whatnot. But there's a difference, say, if there's there's a earthquake in China or, or, or something happened in Korea what whatnot. Do you see the difference that sometimes these events that are happening in the Far East kind of get uh, pushed back to like the halfway point of a, a newscast or whatnot and you know what I mean? It definitely does and you know a lot of that has to do with how, how far away it is but that's kind of the beauty of Facebook situation or, or Twitter or the internet is that there's people out there that you really do speak to it is it does hit close to home even like whether there be crazy elections in Iran and it's all over Twitter so the internet kind of bridges the gap so even though it does, it is tucked away, there's so, only so much room they got on the news. If we don't, you know, the internet will keep it alive, keep it running, and the more we do stuff like this is, is going to be good for everybody. So speaking of like, you know, talking about the internet, is that how, what helped you guys out for your... Definitely. Well, we started out actually probably in front of venues like this, handing out flyers. And, you know, now with, with Twitter, MySpace, Facebook, you name it, and our own website, FarEastMovement.com, we've been able to speak to people all around the world and with just one quick email, one quick blog post, you know, thanks to you. I mean, you know, you've been really ha able to help us get out there, too, with our events and all that. So thank you for that. So are you guys planning to do any other, like, uh, live streaming concert like you did that one time a few months ago or something? <laughs> are we?
Uh, nothing in the works yet, but we're definitely going to be doing a lot of streamings, uh, streaming while we're on the road uh, for our tour coming in November. So always check out FarEastMovement.com, and you'll always be tu on tuned. And the last thing is, I know you guys collab collaborate with Dr. Test a lot, and, and you, guys, you guys help each other out, and you guys ride the Intrigues party. Are we going to see anything, anything new other than Girls, girls on Dance Floor? No, that's like Michael Jackson. I mean, we're always working together, so definitely. Hopefully, uh, when we're coming down here for L.A., we're doing the Palladium for the uh, Party Rock Tour. Hopefully, they're going to come out and do a little cameo. And we actually shot a video together uh, with them uh, for Snoop Dogg, so look out for that coming up soon. So, you guys, any last words you want to say to your fans? Uh, we want to say thank you for everyone that came out to this concert to support. Um, you know, everybody, don't stop at this concert. Keep on finding new ways to help out the victims out there that have been affected by this. Um, just do whatever you can and make a difference. Yo, yo, what up? We are FM, the Far East Movement, and you are now tuned in to Pacific Rim Video.